Good news tonight. Some promising information coming out in the fight against cancer. 60 Minutes reporting on a clinical trial looking to eradicate one of the deadliest forms of cancer with a former killer, the polio virus. With more on this potentially revolutionary treatment, oncologist and author of the soon-to-be-released book, Gene Therapy Plan, Dr. Mitchell Gaynor. Welcome back to the show, Dr. Mitchell. I want you to explain to us, this is a super deadly cancer that these 60 Minutes uh, showed, these patients combating. How does this, how does polio help? Well, it's a genetically modified engineered polio virus that they're actually injecting into the brain cancer. And what it does is it goes into the brain cancer cells and it actually destroys the shield that the cancer forms around itself so that the immune system can't kill it. Cancer is very good at shielding itself from the immune system. So this is allowing uh, the immune system to do what it was supposed to do in the first place. So, so basically the cancer masks itself and your own body never knows it's being invaded by a bad guy. This polio helps the body find out what's really happening. Now, is there a downside to this? Could the polio actually hurt you? Absolutely not. It's a recombinant polio. It can't uh, spread in normal cells. It can't be transmitted and it can't cause polio. And it's part of a revolutionary pattern. Uh, the FDA has approved two new drugs in the last couple of months. Cancer also elicits a soluble substance that inactivates the cancer killing immune cells. And these two new drugs actually allow those natural killer cells to begin killing the cancer again. Wow. It's revolutionary. So you said that there are three companies potentially that have similar kinds of, the idea is the same, maybe they don't use polio, but lots of companies coming out now with this breakthrough technology using the body's own immune system. Who are they? Uh, Amgen has a herpes virus uh, that they're uh, showing considerable good results uh, against melanoma and other cancers. Uh, Bristol Myers uh, has a drug called Optivo, uh, which is approved now for certain types of lung cancer and melanoma. And Merck has a drug called Keytruda, all of which uh, allow the immune system uh, to kill cancer cells. You know, this is such great news for so many families out there or poten potentially will be. If this works, and there seems to be a lot of excitement and hope around it, how long would it take to become ubiquitously used? How fast could people get this in the hands of doctors? Um, it's, you know, the two new drugs that are FDA approved are already in the hands of doctors. Uh, all these have fast track designations by the FDA. And uh, personally, with my own patients, I'm seeing things that I never thought I would see Already. as an oncologist with these new drugs. Positives, you mean, not negative. Positive, dramatic positive. All right, uh, goodness, I, I, I'm so shocked by this and so amazed. Why didn't we think of this before? Uh, you know, we actually did think of it. It just took decades to develop. Uh, okay, the, we used radiation, chemotherapy, right? And now the, the, the tests we're talking about at Duke University, which is a very advanced university in cancer research and medical research generally, they have had some negative results. Tell me about those. Well, uh, they've given the polio virus to 22 people, uh, 11 of whom have died. Uh, but there are four of those 11 that are still alive that are alive longer than six months, which is extremely promising, and some look disease-free. So it's a way of putting the cancer back into dormancy. Dormancy is almost as good as cure. Well, if you're the person with it, you would certainly think that, that's for sure. Yeah. So I need to know, though, is this just for brain cancer, this kind of immunology, re-alerting your body's defenses? Absolutely not. It's being used at, against many of the most common types of cancer. Uh, it's being used against lung cancer, head and neck cancer, ovarian cancer, breast cancer. I think this is the wave of the future, and we're learning how to give other drugs that actually make these more powerful. So we're just seeing the tip of the iceberg here. Tip of the iceberg. Dr. Mitch, thanks for coming on the show tonight. Great to see you. I love it when we have good news for folks. Thank yes. you.